Hello. How is everyone? Ooh, that's better lighting. Oof. Now I look good. How is everyone today? Hi, everyone. So exciting. Sorry I came on at like right at six, but I was just like, I feel like a lot of people come on right at six and then the people that come on before that have sat there and waited and stared at me and they're like, can you hurry up? We've been here. And I was like, let me just come on like right at six just to see how that goes. You've got three more kids with you tonight, Heather. Hi, Steph. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Tabitha. We're painting a lighthouse today, my friends. Monique's from Florida. What? How warm is it down there? That's the real question. Hi, Lori. And the whole Hayes clan. And Walter. Hey, Grace. Hey, Ryan. Maybe if you're with Grace, I don't know. Hey, Janessa. Hey, girl, Stephanie. Oops, I don't like that. Hey, girl, Stephanie. <laughs> Oh, how good do I look? Mmm, blazing. We just got back from grocery shopping. Hey, Crystal and all your children. Hey, Angela. Guys, tell me where you're coming in from. I'm checking in from Newport, Rhode Island. Where are you guys from? I want to hear everything. You're so excited, Brianna. Me too. I'm excited too. This is my third paint party today. Um, normally I only do three paint parties, uh, in a day in the summertime when I'm at all the libraries. Um, <clears throat> I do this, uh, summer reading program at most of the libraries in Rhode Island. So all summer long, like I will go from library to library to library, like okay, not a hundred miles apart and being dramatic. I don't even think Rhode Island's a hundred miles long, but like it's, I'll do like a hundred miles total driving that day and it's far. It's a lot of driving. So those days I drive a lot. And I'll do like two or three paint parties every day. Um, this is awesome because it's right in my house. I'm like, oh, I like this. Getting ready for work right five minutes before I got to be there. Mm, I love it. How's everyone doing today? Hello, Casey. Um, so as you all know, my name's Becky and this is Mermaid Masterpieces. Welcome. This is um, free paint parties I'm going to be throwing while we are all under um what is it called well we're all staying home right and so while we're all home i felt like let's do paint parties and just have fun together because you know what i don't have kids so i don't have anyone to distract me this whole time and i know parents you guys have the opposite problem and you're like i need a few minutes to myself so set those kids up and you guys can paint with them too so set the kids up let them paint let them do their own thing this is their masterpiece this is me telling you don't help them with their paintings because they got this. Um, I'm so rude. I hate having to say that to parents, but I got to say it because I'm an advocate for these kids. I feel like they should paint their own masterpieces and no one should grab their paintbrush out of their hand or whisper what I'm saying in their ear. Just saying. Just saying. Give me some love if you know I'm right. Mm. Um, I just added in my PayPal because like I said, this is free, but I have a tip jar for you guys. If you want to throw in some tips... Totally not necessary, but if you want to, who is going to deny that? I'll let you do that all you want. So my tip jar, it's under PayPal, or I take Venmo. It's um, at Mermaid Masterpieces. Ready? So it's at M-E-R-M-A-I-D-M-A-S-T-E-R-P-I-E-C-E-S. -E -E you should be impressed because that's a lot, and I did it in one breath. Here's my thing. I'm going to give you a little piece of advice. If you decide you want to have your own business when you grow up, which I highly recommend because it's really cool to be your own boss and, you know, do fun stuff like teach people how to paint on the computer for a living. It is so awesome. However, come up with a name that's short. M-E-R-M-A-I-D-M-A-S-T-E-R-P-I-E-C-E-S. That's a lot of letters. And sometimes I forget. I'm like, is the I before E except after the C or what? I Like, I don't remember. <sighs> Anyway, so today we're going to do a lighthouse. Actually, it's going to be like this. Can we all see? Is this too, is this bright enough for you guys? Oh, I feel like that lights. Is that good? That's good. Um, we're going to do a lighthouse today. I'm going to show you guys everything step by step you need to know. We all need, I, I poured a lot of paint. I always pour too much paint. It's obnoxious. You need some white, yellow, red, black, and blue. I didn't point at them correctly. <laughs> Sorry. You guys know your colors. Probably. Um, you'll also need 
a cup with some water in it. I've been reusing the same cup over and over and over. I don't think I'm throwing it out. Uh, a big brush and a little brush. All right. We need some good attitudes. Someone tried to punk me earlier via email. I don't appreciate that. I'm doing a free service for you guys because I want to. And someone tried to yell at me because I, uh, um, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm getting a lot of emails. I've been getting 70 the past today, yesterday, not today yet, but yesterday and the day before I got 70 emails. So I've been trying to just avoid that by telling you guys everything I possibly can in the lives and on the, on my actual page. Um, so when you guys message me and say, what's the painting today? I'm just going to say it's on the post. And if you guys ask what you need, I'm just going to say it's pinned to the top of the page. I don't think there's anything wrong with that because it is. And I don't want to have to answer it over and over again. You know what I'm saying? And some lady was like, you can't just tell me. And I was like, no, no, I can't. I'm sorry. So sorry. But there's 70 other people trying to ask me the same question. So sorry. I don't know. We're all here to have fun. All right. I'm keeping the positive attitude. I hope you guys keep positive attitudes too. Hit that share button. Please and thank you. Um, I should... While I'm talking about positive attitudes, I just want to say, make sure if you're not loving your painting, you got to just keep trying. Okay. So, um, if you're not loving it, you can, you know, you can be like, oh, I don't love my painting yet, but you know what you gotta do? You gotta just keep trying. All right. Just keep working on it. I don't always love my paintings the whole time. And then I'm like, all right, well I can fix it like this. I gotta keep going and try, try, try. And then all of a sudden you love your painting. Um, someone just came on who reminded me, I'm not going to say who, but he's going to know I'm talking about him. Um, he wasn't feeling like the best artist. And I just talked about this my last live. He wasn't feeling like it's the best artist. And I realized it's because what he sees in his imagination isn't showing up on his canvas. It's coming out a little differently. And I realized I'm 37 and I'm just starting to be able to draw what's in my head. You know what I'm saying? So you got to just keep trying and don't beat yourself over beat yourself up over um, not being able to draw what, exactly what's in your head. You got to just keep trying though, and it will happen. I'll tell you the first time it happened is when I wrote and illustrated my book, Meet Little Bexta, shameless plug. I don't know. I haven't brought it up in like two days. Meet Little Bexta, my beautiful book. This is exactly what was in my head, and I created it. That's my photography on the top. It's a clay mermaid, little glitter, um, shrinky dinks. Like little shrinky dink fishes. I did a little Chinese lantern for my great grandma. Like this is exactly what was in my head. And when I got it in the mail, when I ordered it, I was like, that's exactly what was in my head. So it does happen. You just got to keep trying. All right. All right. Are we ready to get started? Today we're going to do jelly. No, nope, we're not doing jellyfish. I just saw a picture of a jellyfish. Sorry. It's my third party today. Give me a break. All right. So today we're going to paint lighthouses. All right. Are you guys excited for that? Because I am. I sure am. All right, so let's get started. Enough talking. All right, take your big brush out. Point it at me when you're ready. Point it. All right, don't cover the screen. Oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, moms, dads, aunties, uncles, guardians, whoever is the adult in the room, make sure you're please taking pictures. I want to see your kids take I want to see these pictures. I want to see these kids painting and happy and having fun. Make sure you get interactive pictures too, because I've gotten a lot with kids pointing their brush at me because so I know they're ready. So keep it up. You guys are awesome. All right. Ready? No. Are you ready? Okay. Let's get started. So we're going to take our big brush. All right. We're going to take a glob of white paint. And we're going to color the whole canvas white. Okay. So we're just going to practice doing long brush strokes back and forth all the way from one end to the other. Okay. Back and forth. You guys are doing awesome so far. Who's feeling good that they're painting again? Or maybe it's your first time painting with me. Welcome. My name's Becky. Oh, did I say that already? I always forget to say my name. I just feel like you should look at me and you can tell my name's Becky, right? Do I look like a Becky or I look like a Bexta? Throw up my peace sign. A lot of you guys have been getting some screenshots of me that aren't beautiful. Here's a good one. Some good screenshots. <laughs> ah, I look good. 
absolutely blazing. Who's feeling blazing today? I'm having a Becky with the good hair day. Who else is having a Becky with the good hair day? My neighbor's really loud. It's one of those cars that's like, I don't know if you guys just heard that. That's really cool. All right, keep it up, guys. So we're just going to do long brush strokes the whole entire canvas, all right? Nice white. This is so that we can work with our other colors. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So this painting we're doing today is the Goat Island Lighthouse, and it's actually, uh, it's a picture I took. So I painted it because I do a lot of photography. So this is a picture I actually took. All right. Let's do it. Let's keep going. Take your big brush. You're done, right? Wipe that excess water off. It's not water, excess paint. I'm sorry. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Okay. Take that excess paint. Wipe it off. Hit that share button right here. Go ahead. Share this, you guys. We gotta share. I want the whole world to know about us painting because I want everyone to join us and share the joy and the positivity and just be awesome together, right? Right. All right, so what we're gonna do, take a glob of yellow. Don't be cheap about it, all right? We're gonna smear it right across the middle, okay? You might notice when you're like halfway through, you run out, you gotta flip it over. Eh, give yourself a little extra yellow, okay? Give yourself like, like that. We're not rubbing it in yet though. Just give yourself a little extra smears. All right? You guys are doing awesome. 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 These aren't moving. That means... Hold on. How many more am I doing? Okay. Let's see. Let me see. You're on FaceTime, Noelle? That's awesome. Everyone's blazing. I love it. Okay, I asked before, but I didn't see the answer. I'm not being rude. I... Why paint the white cam? Um, I don't really have an answer for you. It just, um, it's to work the colors together. It lights them, lightens them up a little bit because this isn't just a yellow painting. You'll see. I don't really know. I wish I had an answer for you, but it just, it is what it is. All right, we're going to clear our brushes, kind of wipe the excess off. Take a glob of red, smear it across the top. All right, take another glob of red and we're gonna smear it across the bottom. And we're done. Congratulations, you all did amazing. I'm just kidding. Uh, you guys, I'm pretty hilarious. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're creating water and an epic sunset, all right? So take your little brush. Nope, this is your big brush. And we're going to start at the very top now that you've got red, yellow, yellow, red. You don't need to add anything else. We're just going to use the paint that's on the brush. There's a little white, red, and yellow on there. We're just going to do long brush strokes all the way from one end to the other, nice and slow. Okay? We're going to work our way down nice and slow. Make sure we're getting all the way to the edges, my friends, okay? All right, see how, okay, so the person that just asked me about why the white, See how it's um, working the paint nice and smooth and it's made the red into pink instead of just red? I guess that's why. I don't know. It just It's just what I have always done. I don't really know. I'm sorry that I don't have a better answer. All right. I'm not a classically trained artist. I um, My grandfathers were both artists, so it's in my DNA. My friends were going all the way to the bottom. And so it's in my DNA, but... I just kind of taught myself everything. Does that sound weird? I taught myself how to paint. My grandpa Enki would teach me things about like perspective and stuff. He was like a realist artist. Like he drew stuff how it was really. And I've always drawn kind of abstract. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. But I like to share my fun stuff with you guys. All right. Once you get down to the bottom, you can kind of wipe the excess paint off on your plate. And work your way back up. We're going to make this nice and smooth or as smooth as you want it to be. Okay, we're going to work our way up. 
we want to make sure that this um, line between the yellow and pink is not like we don't want it to go red, yellow, pink. Like we want it to kind of blend like pink, orange, yellow. You know what I'm saying? We want it to be like an ombre. So to get that effect, we can just kind of go back and forth between the yellow up to the pink and then kind of come back down yellow up to the pink. See how it blends it nicely? See how it's like nice and blended and you can wipe the excess off and just kind of start again, but work your way down this time. All right, we want this to be nice and smooth. Okay. Oh, see, I just made some yellow pop out. Mm, this looks good. See, this is, see, I already can see into the future what this is gonna look like. And I'm like, I wanna go swimming there right now, don't you? Mm. Guys, I have to tell you, I might be wearing my glasses tomorrow because my eyes are really bothering me and I can't read anything because I'm so dry. So I'm like, sorry. Okay. Once you've got a nice blended, oh, is that glare too much? Ah, better, right? Ooh, uh oh. How's that? Didn't even read anyone saying it. I just noticed the glare. Hey, Christina Carpenter. I'm glad you're grateful for the distraction. I appreciate it. You know what? I'm going to tell you, I'm grateful for the distraction too. So thank you guys for, you know, jumping on board with me because this is really distracting me so much that, uh, yeah, I'm just distracted. Let's face it though. I think I'm always distracted. Andrea, um, let the live go through and then start it over after dinner. In about 45 minutes, I'll be done. You can, you'll be able to pause and everything. So enjoy it and share with your friends. Kelly, this painting is going to be blazing, and we're all blazing too. All right, we're going to clean off our big brushes, my friends. Take your little brush out. Stick it in your ear. Go ahead. Parents, adults, aunties, uncles, sisters, brothers, guardians, whoever you're with. Take a picture of the kid when they got the brush in their hair because I think those are hilarious. I always, I literally laugh really hard when I see those. So let me see them. All right, hold your cup with one hand on the table, please, so we don't spill and paint the bottom of the cup. I just learned about saying that the other day and literally I've been painting my whole life. Kind of tap it at the bottom, swirl, swirl, swirl. You guys having fun? I'm having fun. Squeeze the extra water back into the cup and you're done with your big brush. The rest is just details. Look, it literally, the rest is just details. This is amazing, isn't it? All right, we're going to put our big brush on the table. Take your little brush out of your ear or hair, wherever it is. Okay. What we're going to do. <clears throat> Are you guys ready to make the details and make the magic happen? I am. Okay, so dip your little brush in black. Okay. And you can pick where you want your horizon to be. Do we remember what a horizon is? It's where the land and the sky meet, okay? Like when you look out on the horizon. So I'm going to pick my horizon to be. It's not going to be right in the middle today. You can, be, you can do yours in the middle. You can do yours wherever you want. But I'm going to do mine right here, all right? And what I'm going to do right at my horizon, I'm going to do a bunch of black dabs, all right, in a straight line going across. Now, there are a bunch of black dabs all close together, all right? And it's going to get smaller and smaller as we work our way across. Can you guys see? Nope, I'm kind of out of it. All right, let's see. So this is going to be in a straight line. See how they're just like, it's kind of messy. We want it to be, we don't want it to be uniform. And they're going to gradually get smaller as you work your way across, okay? All right. We're gonna go all the way across. Actually, you know what? We don't have to make them that small. All right, let's just do the same all the way. 
approximately. Okay. You guys are all doing so good. Now, does anyone want to take a guess what this is? You guys have any guesses? I'm going to look at comments and see if anyone knows. If you've done a paint party with me, don't guess. All right. Oh, Laura, Laura, I love that you're FaceTiming with your friend. Stephen, of course I remember you. <laughs> okay. What up, Bobby Cox? Uncle Bobbo? All right. Yes, it's Jamestown. Good guess. It is Jamestown. All right. So go ahead and do your... Little dots going all the way across. Okay. You guys are doing awesome. Okay. All right, now my friends, ready for the next step? All right, I feel like a little bit left out because I don't get to be in the picture. Oh, there we go. We want this too, right? Good. All right, so now we're going to take a little bit more black paint and we're going to come down just a little bit and we're going to make black dabs coming out about halfway. This is going to be another little piece of land. Does anyone want to guess what this piece of land is? It's going to be a little bit thicker than Jamestown because it's closer and that's perspective. Okay, anyone want to take a guess what this is? Wild guess? It is rocks. It is rocks. Is it frozen still? You're having so much fun. Carrie, I am too. Up, oh, my mom's on and John's mom's on. Hello, mothers. Land. Yes, it's land. And yes, it's part of Newport. It is Goat Island. So you're gonna make it get skinny and littler towards the end, okay? Make it a little bit shorter, okay, like that. I just like that effect. I think it looks good. It looks good. All right. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is take a little bit more black. Hold on, I'm just trying to figure this out. Hmm. Hold on. Uh-huh. Okay. So we're gonna take a little bit of black. I'm gonna start right about here. Okay. Right in Jamestown. All right, right about here. We're gonna come up. And we're gonna go make a shape like this. This is the Newport Bridge. Don't stress out, don't go too high. Don't go too low, just stick with me and we'll make it magical. We'll make it happen. All right, you guys are doing awesome. All the way to the end, okay? So just make a shape like that, all the way to the end. Now, I'm gonna have a quick pep talk, pep talk with you guys while we're doing this, okay? So, you're gonna hang these up probably on your mantelpiece with like lights shining at it because it will be a shrine towards your beautiful paintings. This painting, people are gonna walk in and say, who did that beautiful Newport Bridge painting? We're doing the bridge in the background. That's your, sorry, it's a secret. Um, 
no one's gonna look at it and be like, uh, I see that, that's a little crooked. That doesn't look exactly like the Newport Bridge. Everyone's gonna know it's the Newport Bridge, I promise. All right, so don't stress out if yours is different than mine. People will know it as the bridge. All right, so about almost to the top of this arc, we're gonna do two close together lines, okay? That go right into the water. And then we'll do two on the other side too. These are straight up and down, close together, close-ish together. They don't have to squish together. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do two parallel lines, and they're parallel to each other, all right? You guys are doing awesome. If you're nervous, close your eyes. You've got this. Okay? You guys are doing awesome. 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 Okay, you're dope too. Okay? All right, my friends. Now that we've got these two parallel lines, we're going to do some more lines underneath the bridge down to the water. Uh, every like inch or so, we just got to do some. This is so the bridge doesn't fall down. We have to draw these. All right, and we'll do this on both sides. All right, there we go. Just want to make it so this bridge looks awesome. Um, I'm not trying to brag, but you know I have no problem talking about myself, though, right? You guys know that by now. I enjoy a story. <sighs> do we all know that the Newport Bridge turned 50 years old last year? Yes? Yes. All right. Well, did you know, that, you know how the Newport Daily News had that big photo contest and everyone in town, all right, not everyone in town, but a lot of photographers submitted their work? You know your girl won. Mm, if you saw that in the paper, that huge sun with the bridge cutting through it, I took that. That was my photography. And then I won the Newport This Week one as well. I can't. I won both Newport Bridge photo contest photos this year because I'm obsessed with the bridge. So I'm going to draw it a lot. That's one of my favorite things to teach painting. All right, so we're going to take a little bit more black. We're going to connect the little two parallel lines not to each other, but just at the top, we're gonna to do a little line on both sides. All right? And you guys are done. The bridge is the hardest part. You guys totally did it. And you guys did so good. Mm, I'm proud of you guys. Are you feeling proud? Mm, I'm feeling proud of you. You should be feeling proud. Mm. Okay, let's take a little bit of black on our brush. And let's just do just like random, not a ton of lines, but just like barely touching the canvas. Just do a couple little lines down here. This is like the ripples in the water. All right, just, you know, barely touching the canvas, just a little bit. Just It's just a little bit, all right? Don't go crazy. I mean, if you wanna go crazy, you can, but just kind of can flick your wrist. Just a little, it's just a little something something. You can do some over here too. Make the ones behind Goat Island like small, small, because they're far away. Like by the bridge, these ones will be little, little lines. Mm. Look at that, that looks, bl <laughs> doesn't that look blazing? Share that, hit that share button. Go ahead, guys. I don't know about you, but this is the best free Thursday night activity I've ever done in my whole entire life. And I am so glad you guys joined me for it. I think I'm going to start doing these uh, once a week, at least, once we can, you know, stop social whatever and it's called. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should do that? I'm going to take a poll. I'm going to do that. I think that'd be fun. Because I'm having so much fun. I have the best paint party business on the whole entire earth anyway, because I have the best clients. But I'm going to say this. I, my favorite part of a paint party is this part, teaching, talking with you guys. My least favorite part is setting it up and breaking it down and driving to people's houses and like just showing up and not knowing. Guys, I don't have to do that. I'm doing it right in my living room. This is amazing. I love it. Do you guys love it? Oh my gosh, Danny. I am so happy you guys are proud. Aaron, I'm going to do it. Corey, Steven, yes, I'm going to do it. Mm. I love it. 
Guys, after we're done tonight, if you could go on Channel 12 News, Channel 10 News, like on their Facebook, Ellen DeGeneres, whoever, tell them about your painting and how much fun you had. I think the people need to know about this. This is so much fun, right? Right. All right. I'm going to take our little brushes. Now it's time for the lighthouse. All right. Now you have to ignore everything else on this painting, okay? Ignore it. Steph, I'm glad this is amazing. It makes me happy. You have to ignore everything else. And you might wonder why I gave you blue paint because we're not using it. I don't know why we're, I don't know why I gave it to. All right, so we're going to come over here about a couple inches in. And we're going to do a, a rectangle that's skinnier at the top. All right, my friends, skinnier at the top. See, and we're going to color it in. Actually, this is a little, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. I like thick. Mm. All right. Whew. Okay. Ooh. How do we like that? Make sure you color it in, guys, all right? Oh, I know why you need blue. You just need it like a, you need it a little dab of blue. I'm rude having you guys doing so much. Jason, I'm so glad you think it's so beautiful. That makes me happy. I cannot wait to see these paintings. I bet they're like so dope. I'm feeling proud of all of you guys. Are you guys feeling proud right now? Point your brush at me if you're feeling proud. Go ahead. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Ah! You guys are awesome. You're having a fabulous time. Oh, Evelyn, that makes me so happy. All right, my friends, now that we've all got this rectangle that's skinnier at the top we're going to do a line at the very top of it that just barely goes over the edges i'm going to turn this put this really close so you guys can see it all right is that close enough hold on hold up thank you for saying this is amazing i need you guys oops if you are having fun, I need you guys to go ahead and go on the Daily News, Newport This Week knows, and they actually put me as one of the top 10 activities to do while we're home. Holla if you hear me. Thanks, Newport This Week. Tell Daily News, Newport Life, Channel 10, Channel 12, Ellen. I think Ellen needs to know. The only thing, though, is I don't know if I can get actually, like, really famous yet because I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready because I was nervous when I went on Bud's East this morning on their Instagram. I was stuttering a little bit. You used oily paint. Listen, oils are awesome. It's going to take a little bit. It's going to take a lot longer to dry, though. you got to wait a couple days. Don't touch it. Just wait, all right? So now that we've all got that little line coming out a little bit, we're going to do a little square. Actually, it's going to be almost like a rectangle above it, okay? Just... Not like a bit, like a little bit taller than a square. And it's going to be a little bit smaller than this line, okay? Do you guys see that? Okay, you guys are doing good. I love Ellen too, and I really feel like me and Ellen would be BFFs if we met each other. Duh. We're both hilarious. I don't know if we'd get anything done because we'd be talking and laughing the whole time, but you know. That's how it goes when you're hilarious and famous and blazing. I mean, I get it. All right, now we've all got that square. We're going to put a line halfway through it. Okay? We're going to color from that line down black. Okay? You guys are doing so good. I am so proud of you guys right now. Who is feeling so proud? You guys, you're doing a, um, a lighthouse. And you just painted the Newport Bridge. Like, you guys are for real amazing. I am so proud of you guys. Are you proud? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You guys, I'm going to say this. I needed to get my roots done. Like, I literally had an appointment this week. Since for, mo like, two months I've had that appointment. And I canceled it. I'm gonna, my hair is going to be blonde all the way down to um, the middle of my back with half brown, half blonde, and I ain't mad about it because I'm still blazing. Mm. All right, ready? Let's take our brushes if we're ready. So now we're going to take our little brush and we're going to do just a little boop at the top, just a little line right in the middle. All right? Okay. 
And then we're gonna do take make we're gonna take our black, all right? We're gonna take whatever is already on our brush. We're gonna take our fingers. I'm just gonna kind of twist the bristles, all right? Just kind of twist, 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 because we want this to be like pointy. See how it's like a pointy, pointy? All right, so now I'm gonna do an upside down V, tiny, tiny, right in the middle. And then we're gonna bring little lines going up and that is like a little tiny W. Can you see that? As skinny as you can make it, okay? Mm. I'm, Mom, I'm going to have to ask you to stop saying, oh, brother, every time I say I'm blazing, because let's face the facts, you know I got it from you. Mm. I look good. This is mermaid hair. Don't care. Okay. Mm. Kids, ladies, gentlemen, if you're feeling blazing, go ahead. How are you feeling? I do my hair toss, check my nails. Becky, how you feeling? Feel the goodest. Go ahead. Ooh, child. I think that song's gonna be like my theme of this. Don't I look so good in a hat? Like, I look better in a hat than anything else. Am I meant to wear a trucker hat? Mm, I'm bringing them back. That and scrunchies. I started wearing them again a couple years ago. They back. Watch. Are you guys feeling proud? You are almost done. You have one more step with me, okay? So we're gonna clean off our little brush. Hold your cup on the table, swirl, swirl, swirl. Okay, swirl, swirl, swirl. Squeeze the extra water back in the cup. Make sure you're holding that cup on the table, please. Now put your cup back towards the middle of the table. I can't believe I haven't been saying that this whole time, I'm sorry. Put your um, cup back towards the middle of the table so you don't accidentally spill, okay? This is a Mermaid Masterpieces trucker hat. It says Mermaid Masterpieces. And I don't, I think it's back, it's like flipped for you guys. So I want to say that you guys, you can order them if you want. They're 20 bucks, but we can't do that until after. So we'll do it in a couple weeks. All right. I know that a lot of people are going to want my, yeah, Kelly, don't drink that water either. I actually drank the paint water one time at Newport Public Library and there was a little boy um, out of the corner of my eye and I like bent down, grabbed my paint water and I took a big sip of it because I thought it was my coffee. Took a sip. This little boy, I thought he was going to pass out because I was all, when I turned around and I spit it out, it was so gross. I spit it out and this is back when, mm, it's a long time ago. So anyways, spit it out and I turned and that little boy was like, oh, Miss Becky, are you okay? I didn't think anyone else saw it. But guess what? Like two years later, his sister comes up to me and she goes, Hi, Mrs. Becky. A lot of kids call me Mrs. Becky. I don't know why. It's just Miss Becky to you. Anyways, you guys can call me Becky or Bexta. It's That's my street name. Whatever you want. Anyways, this little girl comes up to me and she goes, Mrs. Becky, I remember that time when you were drinking paint water at the library. They thought I was like straight up like, let's drink paint water. No, don't drink paint water ever. Don't ingest paint ever. Nothing. Don't put your brush in your mouth. Nothing. All right, take your little brush. We're almost done. Should be clean and dry. Take a little dab of blue and mix it with your yellow. That's all the blue we're using today, folks. Okay, now you might be wondering, why is it all black? Okay, because this is a silhouette um, of the lighthouse, of the bridge, and do you know what that means? It means the light, so the sunset, okay, back here. So the light is coming from behind. So in front of of the bridge and the lighthouse, like where you guys are, there's no light coming from that way because the sun set, it's dark over there now. So that's why there, it's just the silhouette because the light is coming from behind and brightening everything up. So the step after the step we're doing right now, I'll tell you in a second actually. So just take this green, okay, that you made and we're gonna just do a little green dab, just a little tiny one, right? And right between those little lines you just made, just a little tiny baby green dab. That's all right, that's it, that's it. All right, then you're gonna clean your brushes off and you're done with me, you're done. This is an amazing painting. Do you guys feel, look at, look at that. Look at yours, do you guys feel so proud? I feel really proud of you guys. Um, At this point though, 
And I've told you guys this a couple times. I really like to make my painting so this looks complete. To me, this looks like a finished painting. However, if you want to add a sailboat, 10 sailboats, a shark, a mermaid, um, a pirate ship, a person walking down Goat Island Lighthouse, some cars on the bridge, some lights on the bridge, whatever you want. You want to add a rowboat, a kayak, someone swimming, a paddle boarder. You guys have all the good ideas because you guys are really smart and you guys have great imaginations. And I, there's a lot of artists out there that you guys are all amazing. Your parents are sending me and all these adults are sending me pictures of you guys with your beautiful um, masterpieces. Are you serious? You guys are so talented that I'm like, I'm going to be out of a job soon or I'm going to be sending you a job application and you can work for me. All right. So you guys have all the good ideas. I want to see what cool stuff you add to this water. All right. Whatever you want, because why? This is your masterpiece. All right, guys. Yes, yeah, seagulls, snowy owls, whatever you want. This is your masterpiece. And you guys are all awesome. You guys are great artists. I am so proud of every single one of you guys. And we're done. All right. So you guys, you're home. You can totally sit down and relax and paint for a little while. You don't have to rush to clean up. And, uh, you know, add whatever you want to your masterpiece. Mm, I love it. Adults, if you could hit the share button one last time before you leave, um, please, please invite your friends to like Mermaid Masterpieces. Invite them to the Facebook event. Um, share your pictures on your page. Make sure you tag Mermaid Masterpieces, not Rebecca Killian. Because everyone, that's my, that's my real name. That's my government name. Um, if you tag Rebecca Killian, my Facebook friends already know we're doing this. I want you to tag Mermaid Masterpieces so your friends that I don't know so they all find out, right? I'm trying to spread this across the world, all right? Because I think it can happen. I think kids and adults right now, we all need something fun and positive and I will give you all my positive energy because you guys give it back to me and that's, that's good, that's special. We're having a good time. This is amazing. Guys, please give yourselves a round of applause. You're amazing, all right? Mwah, thank you, love you all, have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, oh wait, one more thing. I'll, and then I'll tomorrow night at 6 p.m. And then adults only tomorrow night at 9.30. Um, Jamie, can you tell Mary? My name's Becky. That's all right. Just the little green dot is right, right here. Can you see it? Um, so tomorrow night, 9.30, adults only party. Um, that's going to be awesome. And you kids will all be sleeping and letting your parents chill out and paint with me and just have adult time. And we're just going to chill and have a good time. You, Actually, it's going to be really boring, kids. It's going to be boring. You're not going to want to. Why would you want to hang out with a bunch of adults? We're boring. All right. You guys go to bed. You're not missing out on anything. All right. We're going to read the dictionary. It's. I'm going to read the dictionary to you guys. I'm going to read B. The whole B. The chapter. So you got to go to bed. Um, again, thank you guys so much. This is free, of course, but I did add, um, a tip cup. Uh, if you feel so obliged, if you can't, don't worry about it, but I just, uh, want to let you know it's there in case you want to. And so you don't have to message me and ask me, um, I'll post what we're painting tomorrow, um, at one and six at some point tonight, once I catch up from all the messages I'll be getting and woo, someone just put their, um, motorcycle on. Uh, probably the same neighbor. Oh, no, I think that's that same neighbor's car. Um, well, what else am I going to say? I'll post what the picture is tomorrow, all right? Or tonight at some point. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night. Love you all. Mm -hmm. Tell all your friends. Tell Ellen. Tell Channel 12, Channel 10, Channel 6, Channel 2, Channel 4, Channel PBS, MTV, VH1, E. I should have my own show. Don't you think? This should be a TV show, all right? Let's... Let's be serious here. Peace.